whenever this game starts up, right, whenever I start it, I like to give this main menu some time to breathe. It's, it's, it's just one of those wonderful little subtle title screens. I'm a much bigger fan of like, uh, of title screens that are like kind of in the game like if it's a 3d game it's in a space somewhere that there is a place that you are looking at or there's some kind of environment like i think about the title screen to ratchet and clank 2 where it's just ratchet and clank hanging out playing the first game and then they'll sometimes have clips in it you know from the second game that that, that you're playing but it's a cool little thing that I feel is so much better than what they decided to do for the third game. I I sincerely... No! I might have it backwards. I might have it completely backwards. Wait! Yeah, no, 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 no. So the third game was actually still pretty good. That was them getting the ship from the second game ready. Right, because they were in the place from the second game and they were getting ready to go to the third game. So I take that back, right? The first OG trilogy of Ratchet and Clank games, all good. All good title screens, right? Because the first one is, is very, it's very quaint and kind of subtle. There's no bombastic music. It's just Ratchet's garage at like night while he's like working on the ship. And it's just a nice intro to the series. Then I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about Jack and Daxter one and two. Well, well, okay. So like one has a very different vibe to two in the same way that three is different. Cause one starts with the uh, name, like the title card, smashing through some ab ab abstract place and then it's going through that that village in the first game hold on that's my alarm telling me to stream and then you have the second game where it's this little animation where it pans through the city and then it shows the sign for jack 2 with daxter coming out of the blue and he turns the light on bro i fucking love jack 2 i it, it's it's so funny to me being a grown-up and listening to people play that game for the first time and listening to like other people's opinions on that game and they say it's hard i did not realize that that game was difficult <laughs> i did not realize that it was tough maybe i need to go back through it again uh, because i believe the biggest thing that it goes comes down to is limited health regen and checkpoints that are really wide from each other and there are definitely a few segments in the game where i i could definitely agree with that I think there was one mission near the end where you go back to the to this ammo depot and you got to free all your friends. No, it wasn't the ammo depot. Yeah, it was when you go back to the prison and you got to go through this like the it's only really like three rooms. But there's some of the most grueling rooms in the game. And the and it's the first one that'll get you because it's it, it must have been like 30 enemies in that one room with a ton of bottomless pits that will just instantly kill you. And if you die at any point in that mission, there, there are no checkpoints in that mission. It's an incredibly short level. It's just genuinely fucking hard. And there are definitely a few missions where they feel unnecessarily difficult in comparison to um, what, what, what how I feel is like the rest of the game. And I could definitely think of a few spots where it's like that. But I still really enjoy Jack 2. I don't really... I don't really have any problems with it. Uh, I, I kind of really like the vibe of it. Now I'm just kind of talking about Jack 2. We got... We got some drifting to do. So we're gonna... We're gonna be drifting. And I'm gonna make sure I got this set up. Because for some reason it feels like it just keeps... Changing. Yeah, here we go. All right, I'm primed, I'm ready to go, I am strong, I am powerful, and I know where to go now. Where are we? Yeah. So, I went and checked out a video 
showing me where to go. Because I, I'm i somebody who has no problem uh, looking up a guide for something when I, I really get stuck somewhere. So, we're just going to beeline it. Because I don't want to be messing around here for like 30 minutes, not knowing where to go. And I don't like doing that normally, right? Like, there's no shame in, in looking up a guide when you hit the point where you're no longer having fun. Right, where that uh, sense of adventure and exploration just kind of goes away and you're like, well, I, I, I want to see the next part of the game. There's some people who, you know, would probably have the opinion of, well, you don't deserve <laughs> to see that part of the game because you didn't find it yourself. I don't know. I feel like that doesn't always apply. You shitter. Got me. I'm pretty sure this is the way to go. So the place I need to go is by all those cells, and apparently there's this little side path behind a uh, behind a uh, an invisible wall that you got to go check out. And it's 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 another one of those things where I'm looking at the game and I'm thinking like, oh, there's no path. There's probably like a thing I gotta do, and it, it's always so much simpler. But it's not here. But we will find it. We're in the right place, though. Uh-oh, why did my game stutter? I believe... Oh, shit. Yeah, let's, let's shut these things up real quick. Thank you. Who was it? It was, it was somewhere around here. I could have sworn. Maybe there's another spot. <laughs> oh. Got me. Alright, we're gonna keep looking. Might be a little further ahead. From the video I saw, it really looked like it's right there. Maybe it's over here. around here somewhere. I remember this. Oh, now I do. There's a whole bunch of shit down there. Goodness. Oh, where is it, man? Where is it? Oh, we got this. We'll find it. We'll find it. It's in here somewhere. I just like how everything resets. That's okay. That's not what I meant to do. All the way over here? Weird, but okay. All right, we got this. Oh dear, I was really hoping this would be a straight shot. I kind of only glanced at it, right? Like, I didn't want to sit there and, and watch the whole thing verbatim. I just kind of wanted an idea of, like, okay, is it, like, hidden somewhere? Is it snuck behind a wall that I'm not looking at? I'm getting impatient. Yeah, we'll just do that. It's not a big deal. I am definitely missing something because there are plenty of places, it seems. Why can't I open you? Why are you locked? That might lead to one area I'm not thinking about. Where is this, like, crazy side path I keep seeing? Oh. Shit. 
You suck! I bet I could do something like farm hits off of all the crystal that are like in that other room. Then I could keep shooting and trying. So here we are. I'm like 80% certain that it's here somewhere. I have no clue where, man. It looked like it was just south of here. Like on the other side of this block or something. I'm missing like half the dungeon or something. Yeah, I'm gonna go back into that first room because I'm, I'm very curious about that one door. And I should also try to get this module here. needed to be hit hard enough. There you go. Hmm. I'll just be honest, I'm not convinced of anything yet. Not quite yet. Why is this inaccessible, I wonder? Jimmy, do you have any information on, on these, uh, on this here door, man. I feel like I've already been through the area and that like I was inches away from what I needed. Like I do remember this other prison area that I had gone through where there were these three additional cells, but I for the life of me can't remember how to get there. And without having to fiddle with all these traps again. shouldn't be having this much trouble. Hmm. I think I gotta go that way. Yeah, I'll go back that way. That's, that's probably the answer. Is that it's probably just this way. I miss both. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. Oh, I think that's it. That's it right there. Hell? 
<laughs> what was that sound? Oh, I was I was trapped in crystal. There's there's fuckers here. Oh gosh. Well, I found where to go. It's all right, guys. It all worked out. Yeah, we'll just eat that. another region done we are now three out of four regions completely powered back up no 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 never mind i'm an idiot i'm a fool <laughs> it's, it's uh, that is uh, that is not the truth i am a liar don't believe anything i say all right so um let's go back here oh fuck can i cancel this because this is the way I need to go. Uh, okay. No, it's fine. Yep, yep, yep. It's, you know what? It's probably faster either way. And we go up. <laughs> you not gonna get me like that. Not, not like that. Ouch. This door should just be openable. Yes. Oh yeah, we drifting now. Hello? Ooh, we got some vibes going on. Hold up. I don't like how it's like just right there. Hey, get out of here. Nobody wants you here. Get out. Here, I want the shotgun. <laughs> that's pretty good. I'll say, I'll say that's pretty good. Okay, we're going back. We're going back. If only because I am so fucking suspect of where this fourth thing is. I'm so... So suspicious, man. I just cannot trust it to be left alone to its devices. It has to be somewhere up there. Yeah, yeah. We get up there, it's in there. Aha! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle looking motherfuckers. You ain't gonna get me. Ouchies. I mean, you could try. You'll get pretty damn close. Goblins. Sometimes I'll hold the button to do it again, and it just won't do it right away. Oh, I completely forgot. I have a stamina bar in this game, of all things. Yeah, see that little white bar there filling up? That's, uh, that's a stamina bar. That limits how often I can do that. Damn, it's good. Yo! Okay, we got this. I say that every time I die. Yo, we got this. Back over here, lame. 
But now we know. Now we know the secrets. The hidden paths. It's it's interesting too, because you even have to like um break that crate to get through it. Alright, let's go. Oh, fuck you. Ice trap on the ground, man. Okay, we're gonna have to worry about that. Already refilling. Disapprove. Not happy. But we're making it. Can't see shit. Some light transparency through uh, environmental objects would be nice. Oh, there's a little bit. You can kind of see me ghost in there. But it's way too faint. <laughs> it's almost as if it doesn't really fulfill its purpose for why it's there. Like, was that there for stylistic reasons or utilitarian reasons? I can just do that. They only got three HP. But this has to be it. This has to be the micro dungeon to get us through. I don't know what that is down there. Like when we're going through the elevator, there's these two little diamonds. I don't know what they mean. What's in here? What's in here? What's in here? What's in here? Yeah, it's just right here. This feels like it's going to be an, a, a, a short and sweet little game where I'll, I'll probably be done with it tonight if I don't call it early at all. Hello! All right, now we're three for three. Oh my god, I just realized I've had the starting soon on the screen this entire time. Gotta learn all these lessons the hard way. <laughs> Every single lesson's gonna be hard. Look at this cool stuff. Hell yeah. I don't know what to make of it. Oh, now there's three of them. I know I'm on the right path. All right, this isn't ominous at all. Oh, I'm looking. Now see that? Is that just like my cursor? That's a cursor. Okay. All right, well, let's get out of here. How, how do I leave the starting soon on there? It's, I've already 25 minutes in. Although I do think I spent like a good 10 minutes of that just talking. That's fine. Talking's fine. I don't know. I think I just go this way. Yeah. Now we go to the boss. Uh, you know, hopefully this boss isn't gonna smash me into tiny pieces and laugh at me. Like he'll laugh at me for having a small peeping. Dicking around in that one. We're in a much better spot now. Here we go. We got this. That's all. That's my crutch is saying we got this. Now we drifted. That's what I should be saying. Are we drifting? Are we drifting? Ouchies. I could buy something cool now. Uh, let me look at this. Uh, I imagine the south path 
is just gonna be more upgrades and maybe like an NPC who like gives a little story about something. I'll check that way first then, and then I'll go north. Although real quick, I gotta use the bathroom. So I'll be right back. I should make a BRB screen. Good thing the bathroom's like right there. Imagine if I had to go outside or something crazy. That'd be weird, right? Having to go outside. Goodbye. <laughs> nice. Come on, bait him, bait him. Sick. This game feels really tightly designed in a fantastic way. No, no part of it feels too big. I would say some parts feel a little too small, but only a little. Nothing about this game overstays its welcome. It's definitely a quality over quantity kind of experience. So what's over here? Read the pixels. Read the pixels. They will have the answers. Hmm. Hmm. There's not nothing over here. This, I swear, this looks so much like a secret passage or something. It's just like, no, there's nothing there. Alright, I guess there's nothing that way. Let's go this way, then. Oh. The music, the atmosphere. So good, man. Help. There is something over there. We got this. We can figure this conundrum out. Also walk away with some healing. Oh, easy peasy. Heck yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... Uh, oh, hi. I'm going to get to the teleporter right before the boss room, which I, I do believe should be there. It, it could very potentially be there. Teach me. Teach me. Yes. <laughs> yes. You learn one trick, you learn the rest. Twofer. Ah, shit. Just a little slow on the draw. Let's check up, uh, let's check up here. Some healing. Ooh, there's shit over here. All you gotta do with those guys is bait them and then 
Just tap them and they'll be good to go. I kind of want this game to have some like end game challenges. I feel like that's going to be something that I'm going to be really wanting is I'll want something like an arena where it's just fight after fight after fight of just tightly designed count encounters to really challenge uh, my ability to play this game's combat. Because it's it's pretty simple and straightforward, but it, it all flows naturally and feels really satisfying to pull off. Like when you learn every little trick, it does feel pretty good. Okay, there's gotta be some way to get over there. Mm, pardon me. Oh, I totally forgot I could do that. Ah, dude, I wasn't expecting that that third shot. Dude. Ooh, a puppy. Oh, he could hit me through walls, but I can't. Oh, fair enough. You know, that's the uh, that's the that's the uh, handicap you got to give the NPCs because they're they're dumb. All right. There's some way forward here. Probably just this way. Yeah. Yeah, it's just this way. Ah, oh, this place is so pretty. So many environments in this game are just really, really pretty. All right, we're fully stocked. We've got full ammo. Uh, I think the only thing we should really need to do... Ah, uh, this, uh, this feels like boss room. This feels like boss room. I should have went and got an upgrade, especially when I had the chance, but that's okay. Okay, too tough, too tough. Oh, it's a king. Holy shit. Fuck. Wrong button. I meant to do that one. Okay, this guy's gonna be um, giving me some challenges. This is a fight that, that we're about to have right now, so we're gonna go for it. Do I have a block? Like, can I parry? Oh, wow. <laughs> I gotta I gotta conserve my dodges, it looks like. Got him. All right. Only took, what was that, three, four tries? Either way, it's pretty cool. Ooh, he drops all these books. Mm, points. Currency. Credits. Simoleons. It's one of the funny things about this game just having no text in it. <laughs> is that I have no idea what anything is called. I don't have the names for places. 
I, I just have them and I'll just call them whatever they look like. Like this is probably called something like a, a, a pylon conduit and I'm just gonna call it big square. Hell yeah. All right, chief. That's three out of four. Each of those is fully charged. I think we're good to go home. Oh. Did the other ones do that? Or is that new? We're gonna go here. And we're gonna pop back. I feel as long as I don't get too lost, right? As long as I don't get too lost in finding these um these modules or whatever they're called, I think we'll be good. It's always good to have a little house. Uh, what is that? Okay, this is just instructions telling you. Cause I was curious if that would change. Yeah, so that so that's just your first guide to the game saying like, hey, build these things out. This is the main way. Like this is the main thing you're gonna be thinking about. Um let me see these. So, so this appears as though it just gives me an additional slot for healing. Which is Definitely useful, but I never really find myself uh, sitting on them for too long. They always just seem to come and go pretty easily. Alright, this is the same story as before. Uh, let's see what's the... what's going on here. could reflect things oh that's that's hot <laughs> that's hot uh can i only have one of those installed at a time or can i have all of them i think i can have all of them yeah but we're gonna focus on mobility for right now i feel like both of those are good but not worth the price tag right now when I could get so many other things. Like I could get whatever this is. Is that a shield from projectiles? Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. We're gonna get this. That seems pretty damn good. And I think there are a few things we can get. Again, do I have to choose between these? It looks like no. No, I do not. Yeah, let's take a look at the other shops real quick. Probably, I'll certainly need a refresher. I think that place just gives me a second grenade, which would be, would be a little useful for clearing rooms. And then the guns are just more ammo. That's interesting. They they went through and designed a whole a whole shop. So I could just give myself nine shots there. I kinda want the shotguns. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Probably a bad call. But they um they went and they designed all these shops to be so detailed. And all they sell is, like, one or two things. Like, once you get both the health pack upgrades from the health pack guy, there's no there's no reason to go back there. But they went through and they designed that whole shop. That's like, uh, that's some Nintendo-level detail kind of design there. Because say whatever you want about the fidelity of Nintendo's games, like how HD... How many polygons and textures and all the other things that are going on that make a game look really, really cutting edge and nice. 
Nintendo doesn't do that. What they go for is they go for things like this, where they'll give every shop it, its own bespoke everything. They'll, they'll make the shop completely custom, they'll give it unique music, they'll make the NPC unique, they'll give it They'll give them a whole personality and probably even write up like a really basic backstory about everything that's going on with them. And they'll completely decorate the entire environment to tell a story and really create this sense of like place and character. And that's something that Nintendo is really good at doing. And it and it's something that I feel has made a huge number of their games incredibly memorable. Like, take Paper Mario, how Every shop in that game, even though a lot of them sell very basic stuff, and you might not even buy anything from those shops, they're, they're really just there as a convenience. And you could just have like a block or something, right? They could have just had a generic NPC that you talk to, like a guy with a coat, and just have that guy, and he just sells you stuff and they can place him anywhere in the game. But they said, no, we're gonna have the majority of the shops in our game be specific houses they're all going to have their own name the npcs are going to have their own looks and uh you know i would say paper mario isn't the best example of this but legend of zelda is a great example of this like you go through ocarina of time and you see all the um all the shop guys in a uh, castle town for the first time and they all have their own little shops and those were during like really basic days but then you pick up something like wind waker or Twilight Princess and they just go ham with that concept of hey, we're gonna make uh, You know all the shops like really unique We're gonna include a whole bunch of crazy little side Locations that you know when you, when you consider the amount of work in design detail and discussion that, that might have been Happening and making those kind of games It's fascinating. These guys are just here <laughs> They have no problem with me coming and going all right, so let's see what's going on here. I gotta move, because now we're gonna be going down, and the mic is in the way of that. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, just, just <laughs> moving the mic, moving the mic. There you go. More skeletons. You have all these really unique looking people who I don't think you could really call any of them like really human. But then you have all these skeletons that are very human y, I, I guess. <laughs> like, look at this guy. He sat down and said, okay, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Got these pits filled with skeletons. Got these guns. This, like, appears to be some kind of like anti air like anti air cannon or something Ooh. Uh. oh so i imagine all of these were up and they and they were just straight up saying you do not get to go down here until you do the other three that's cool so i suppose so the game wants you to go up first and then left and right is kind of up to you on what you want to do even though I felt like up was the hardest, at least with the boss, just because that boss just kept messing with me in the beginning. Once I figured it out. Oh. You'll never believe it, but my family was killed in their bed. Oh, you can see all the little bits of detail here. Oh, so this is the guy, this is the guy. It took me minute to recognize him in the mess of pixels but his family appeared to have died from some kind of disease with all the blood he had brought them flowers and you know they were dead and so he's trying to figure out what's going on he too has seen the weird dog the weird diamond dog it's getting hot in here i'm gonna open a window oh he has a little jimmy too i didn't notice that i, I thought that's who i was talking to when i first talked to him going on bud oh he left all the gear warp home to charge gear oh he did let's go 
Let's go check it out real quick. Do I just need to warp here? Is it already done? Is there something I need to interact with? I feel like it's set it somewhere. Let's let's check this middle platform real quick. Oh well, I don't know. It's probably not that important to finish the game, right? Right? Hmm. Yeah, let's just go. Music stopped. Okay. How the heck am I gonna get there? Ah. Yes. <laughs> yes! Ah, yes, that makes sense. One day I'll learn how to read these maps. <laughs> what well, one day. One day. Sorry, I saw a little scorpion and just assumed enemy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, scorpion. Ooh, comrade. There was a wanderer. He dark and shrouded, and there were tons of them. And they're right there. Cool. Okay, this place feels interestingly open. Yes, I, I know. I know what that does. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for showing me. Or appear anytime using the map. There's a whole bunch of scorpones. Oh. Is there something in the bones? Is the solution in the bones? There's nothing up here. There's nothing. There's no hope. Only doom. Doom. How dare you lie to me, thing? What are you? Oh, hey. I have a feeling this will take me where I need to go. Yeah, maybe I need to just come around the, um, the other side. I bet if I open the map, yep, there's a way straight up there. So if I go down... Okay, so this place feels like it's going to be a bit of a complex. Ah, they want me to go here first. And then come back. Alright, let's take a look. So I want to go south from here. Kind of wish there was a combo extender. That would be nice. Like, that would be a nice upgrade. I don't think that's the idea here. What is going on here? Ah, oh, well. Keep going. Keep going. Whew. Spiders. Woo! 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 Don't need that kind of energy. Fuckers! 
Got him. Got him though. <laughs> Bye. Ooh, it's this way. I ain't done yet. I ain't done yet. There's something over here. What the fuck? Where are all these keys I'm apparently not seeing? And why are there so many of them? I only have one. There's like a billion keys and they could lead to anything. <sighs> Sucks. Due diligence, due diligence, find everything. Oh, there's something this way. Yeah, that's right, give me your garbage. Thank you. Oh, something bad happened there. I'm curious what is behind that door that I, I'll never be able to open. Ooh, bones. See, these are some more, like, pretty dang diverse looking skeletons over here. Some shit went down here, man. We are edging ever closer to our destination. Yeah, I definitely don't need that uh, health pack upgrade. Like, unless I'm getting ready for a very tough fight. That's that's the big difference of what would get me to do that. Is if there's legitimately a fight that would require me to get, like... Where having an extra heal would be amazing. But I haven't come across that quite just yet. Everything's a lot easier when you can just one-shot it. Woo. I knew it! There's something over there. Oh, butts. <laughs> Let's see where it spawns us. Oh, uh, where is this? Where is this? Okay. Start of this room. I have a chance to redeem myself. Was the previous room i was thinking like oh dude I, do i gotta go around that thing again shit dude oh what <sighs> i would tell y'all i'm not good at uh shmups i'm not good at micro positioning when there's a thousand projectiles on screen i'm not good at that stuff i think i'm Probably better than your average guy who tr picks up that stuff for the first time. Oh, you suck. It got me twice. Oh, I literally got a thing. I literally got a thing so I could just shield projectiles when I dash. And it has done nothing for me. Because I'm a klutz who gets hit by every other thing. So I have that.
There's another one. You suck. I'm fucking throwing me off. So fine, we can we could go through this uh, next room, which looks like a combat trial with only two HP and no heals. That's fine. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, and of course, there's one of those things I can't stop. He shot me point blank. Ah, oh, this is this is rough, man. Like at least my health bar should be refilled or something. Oh, that sucks. That's cool. What? Mm. This this is pretty mean, and I don't see any health packs in this room. Oh, that, that really fucking sucks, dude. That really sucks. I could have sworn I was dodging. Was I not dodging during that? Getting shot 18 different ways, man. 18 different ways. suck. Got this. I just have to perfect this without getting hit once. This one's gonna be rough, guys. This, this one's fucking rough. Got it, though. Push through, push through. Fucker! Okay. So it doesn't interrupt him shooting it, but it will knock him back. You're here? Hi, Alex. How's it going? I'm in a very tough room right now. I have to get through it without getting hit twice. If that. I'm getting some Hotline Miami vibes from this room. I'm going to be honest. Holy cow, I did it. Okay, yeah. This game is really satisfying when you when you can pull it off, but it is ruthless sometimes. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, just because of how um, the health system works. Transistor a little bit. Uh, sorry, I, I got distracted by this fucking void. Oh, what is this? I'm really glad I got the dash shield now. Yeah, there's no way for me to really replenish my HP, <laughs> so I gotta just do this. Oh, goodness. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like- th there's never been an enemy like this in the game. I didn't- I didn't think we were gonna be doing this. <laughs> oh, dude. Please, healing. Healing, please. What if I'm just hyper aggro? That only that only kind of works. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Fun. I shouldn't be charge attacking these guys because uh, it looks like they only got two hit points, so I just tap them twice. That should be enough. Okay, got that got rid of one. So all the bullets are coming from the little guys. Oh. Mm. 
Yep, better. If I can, I think if I can position myself just right and time my heavy slash, I could probably get like two or three of them. Yes, that's it. That's the way. See how much less stuff there is to dodge. See, my solution to getting more healing would require me to teleport out of the dungeon, find some stuff that's lying around. There's no way to heal outside of random health pickups. It, it's pretty rough sometimes. Because some fights... Because here's the thing. If I, if I had full health packs and full HP, I could get hit like 15, 20 times, almost. But as it stands... Two hits. That's all I get. Okay, that's how we do it. Okay, so he do got some moves. Oh, he got more buddies. That... that that's beans. Okay, here's what I'm... I really don't want to teleport out of the dungeon. Because uh, I, I honestly don't know where there's more stuff to get healed. And I don't want to wander around too much. suck. <sighs> I really want to come back with more healing. But if I leave, everything comes back, I believe. So, I'm gonna... <sighs> oh no, I can't even leave. Okay. We're gonna just teleport out. We're gonna come back with more healing. And that's how we're gonna do it. Cause I can't do that with only two HP. That's, that is, for, with that, that is too tight. <laughs> that is way too tight. If you've never played this game, it has fantastic atmosphere. It, it's it's the kind of game that if you if you love this kind of aesthetic, and, these, and if you're really drawn to atmosphere in games, it wins you over right away. Like at the very beginning of the game, it has this really cool intro cinematic. Uh, if, if you like those kind of games where they're way better experiences than you might say, it, like, like they're, it's a better thing to have gone through than to have played. Like kind of like Shadow of the Colossus, where that's a game that has, um, like, it's not the most complex thing in the world. Like, there aren't, um... Like, the combat's not super crazy. Outside of being able to climb on giant monsters and, and stab them in the head. But it's not like Devil May Cry, where it's combo-topia, it's super fast-paced, super, super technical kind of gameplay. But everything that is in the game is very tightly designed and very well made. Oh, goodness, I don't know what's this way. Um... Yeah, that's the way I need to go. Yeah. So it looks like warping healed me because I'm not bleeding anymore. Oh, thanks for the follow, by the way. Yeah, see that little blue thing with, like, a nose <laughs> following me? I have no idea what that's called, but it's my little helper. It's my little helper boy. I call him Jimmy. 
Almost bedtime, but wanted to say hi. Yeah, they are cute, aren't they? <laughs> Jimmy Helper. <laughs> the legendary. The goat. Alright, well, uh, thanks for coming around. I'll be, uh, I'll be going until I feel like going to bed. Or until I decide I, I don't want to look for healing anymore. Please, I just want more healing packs. What's this guy doing? Oh, he's zooking out! <laughs> Yeah, I just saw him smoke something and he's gone. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> What's this way? Oh, hello. Was it soccer? me nope you ain't gonna get a score on me nope i don't care how intimidating like how ferocious you are little man you're going down oh wow vicious no I scored on myself. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, so I could just kick it by walking into it. I'm 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 having flashbacks to Spyro 2. I'm having flashbacks to Spyro 2. I, this cannot happen. Yo, he's going ham on this. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Get scored. Oh, he knocked me over. This guy sucks. Yeah. In. Get in. Oh, you suck. Oh, he, he, <laughs> he's not holding back. This guy, this guy, woo! Fertulio is messing me up, man. I can only assume a man this good at the ball would have a name like Fertulio. I don't know why, I just, it just feels appropriate for tiny purple man who's good at kicking balls. I bet he has like some official name like Goalkeeper or something. There there is no text in this game. There's no spoken dialogue. There are no there is no written word. Everything conveyed through visuals. It's very visual in everything. So nothing nothing I see has a name, so I've just been giving them names. Ooh, I think the dash is it. Yeah, the dash is the way to win. Oh, he's comboing over there. Pulling out some Tekken combos. Oh, dude. <laughs> he does not give a fuck about me. <laughs> Come on. Oh, other side, please. This game is so cool. If if you want, like Deadass, just take two minutes and go watch like the opening cutscene for this game. It, it's it's just one of those instantaneous mood setters, where you're like, yeah, I'm gonna. This is probably gonna be one of my favorite games ever. At least for me, anyways. I'm just drawn to games that kind of are all about setting a mood. Like for me, it's like that's half the appeal of the Souls games for me. It's just their impeccable atmosphere.
No. Yep, you have a good night. I don't even know what I'm doing this for. I'm assuming that yellow crate up there, which, you know, isn't the most worth it thing in the world. Shit. Okay, I'm done here. I, I, I want healing. <laughs> I really want healing. I don't think I'm going to get healing, am I? What's this way? How are there so many keys? There are so many keys in this game and I haven't like stumbled across more than one. I'm gonna be honest, I'm terrified. I have a feeling like this last section is gonna be a boss rush where it's gonna be like four bosses. Like each thing is gonna be a boss. Or maybe that's what that guy was telling me, is that like, hey, there's like five fuckheads here who are all looking to get you killed. Now we're gonna go this way real quick. And we're gonna just, we're gonna just try to find some healing in here, man. <laughs> ah, no, which way was it? Shit. I'm lost again. It's interesting, it took me like half a stream to get through the east area and I got through the majority of the west area. I probably would have finished it uh, Monday if I hadn't gotten lost in that one dungeon to find that last module. Where was it? It wasn't that one. It was some other one somewhere. Was it this way? Hello? Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. Well, found that. Gonna have to remember that. I am, I'm deathly afraid that this game might just have a thousand more things to do in it. And it will be like another like 20 hour journey beyond this. I sincerely have no idea. We're, we're gonna just try this place again. We're gonna just try again. We're gonna try to skim past as much as we can. Yep, all this is still open. Somehow I'm doing it. Come on. I'm gonna have to go through that one fight again. But if I can do it. Please! Oh my goodness. I'm gonna be honest, this, this hasn't felt worth it now. I'm gonna try to get through this without healing. I just realized how hard of a fight this was before. Okay, we got this. I, I see the path forward, but it's not any better, right? Like, all I'm fighting for is the ability to do this fight with full HP now. <laughs> oh, no. We got this. 
I need to not say that every single time I die. Okay, we got this. We got this, we got this. Come on, I need to be, I need to be drifting. saying it's it's my way of pushing forward push forward push push ow i really want to get to a better position is there anything even blocking that way like can i just run through i might be able to Yeah, yeah, it's just stairs. So I don't I, I don't need to worry about this. Oh, oh, I just realized what the grenade would be very useful for. I definitely have more of a chance than before. Oh no! Duke oh. him. Shit. I gotta really not be caught by stupid shit. Why, why am I having so much trouble hitting these nerds? We got this. Come on. him down just burst him down until he's out because that's a little bullshit but we got it <laughs> we got it Woo. yeah i'm gonna open the window oh, if you if you ever hear like the sound of something tapping on glass that's my little headphones there because I don't know, there's this little vestigial part of it that keeps bumping up against the side of my computer, which is, uh, the case is made of glass. Very much not a fan of that. Oh, did I never... Oh. I can't do anything about this. Oh shit. How do we make that go away? I don't think we can. What the fuck is going on there? There's some shit happening. Got some goo growing on my orbs. Not a fan of that. But we're gonna go right back. <laughs> We're gonna, we're, we've done that, but we're gonna go straight back.
was I out of ammo? Did it take longer to reload? We'll sort it out. Yeah, that was my last shot. <sighs> Great. I'm really tired of constantly being at no HP and, and the game just being so unforgiving that it won't at any point refill my HP for any reason. It is like all health is scavenged and earned. There's a lot of red shit everywhere. I really want to heal, man. I really want to heal. Oh, that sucks. Back up here. Let's do it. Health is so tight in these, in these like little sections. Like, when there's not a healing thing in almost every other room, you will just run out, and there's no way to get them back. Yeah, there's no reason to ever get the health pack upgrade unless you're that good with saving health, in which case you probably don't even need it. You didn't even give me the time, man. Yeesh. There's no block in this game. I guess I dodged through it. What? Oh, it slipped through the... This is brutal. If there's a way to replenish my health packs, uh, like at the town, I don't know what it is. The game did not communicate to me like how I could do that. I feel like the burger flipping guy should be like a good source of health packs. Like you can, like he'll just give you health packs or something, or at least fully refill everything. I don't know. This is fucking rough. Okay. Oh, thank fuck. And I'm and I have to use it right away. Am I already back to bleeding? I am. I'm already back to bleeding, man. This sucks. Oh, look at all that. Oh, hey. Never mind, we're good. Progress made. No more complaining. Twofer. Only two more go. Probably a ton more bosses, I'm assuming. I'm, I'm, I'm only assuming that there's just going to be more. Oh, sick. Oh, is this going to take me to that top one? I think it should. Or no, there's more. Oh god, where am I now? Where the fuck is this? Oh! So much more. So much more. Oh no! Do you know what that works out? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Well, I feel compelled to go this way now. <sighs> you're gross. You're gross. You're gross. You're gross, dude.
Oh, those aren't platforms. Cool. Glad to know. Oh, I forgot I don't have to aim. I could just press the fire button and it'll, and it'll just assumedly work. And I need it. I know I want to continue exploring. Oh, you suck. Stacking. We're stacking slowly, but we're getting there. Okay. This place is a little topsy turvy. There's some weirdness going on, but we're working with it. Yes! More healing is always good. Oh, finally. I feel like I can breathe. Hello? What's that over there? That's just the thing to turn it off? Yeah. Ah, but it also... Mm, but it closes that area off. Interesting. I don't think there's anything else on this side. Yeah, I feel like I had to go that way in order to unlock whatever is this way. I didn't see Magic Mike over there. use it. Like I said, you just burn through HP so fast when you're, I mean, you know, when you're bad like me. He shot me point blank, that piece of shit. That's hilarious. Okay, yeah, I gotta start using the shotgun as like a combo extender a little bit more. I wonder if I can do... Hmm. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see what's this way. Okay, this is it. This is the fight. Okay. Take it one by one. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Hotline Miami vibes again. Oh! I didn't see him. I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh, dude, am I stuck over here now? No, I should That doesn't make sense. Why would that make sense? Okay. Got him. Ooh.
Made it through, one step at a time. Let's check here. You never know where there's gonna be a secret. Secret! I smell secrets! Oh, okay. Oh, this place is gonna be a little fucky wucky, isn't it? Robot band. Robot band. Sad robot. Yeah, we'll heal. Why not? We actually have health. Oh, fuck! Gotta remember that dash. Oh, dude, you suck. Easy. He's so much easier than the other guy. Getting all these upgrades, man. Better head back to town and get that third, uh, get that upgrade. Whichever one I'm gonna get, I have no idea, to be honest. Oh. Mm, it's sweet. It's sweet. It's tasty. It's good. But what are we gonna do with that fourth square? I don't. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. It's still there. Then again, there's that one over there. Wait, what? Look, you see this? So this is the one with the gross orbs. And there's a path that leads that way. But it also looks like there's other things. I think I know where to go with that one. Oh, there's some shit down here. Look at him. He looks ready to go. What do you mean? He's covered in the sludge. You know the sludge we ordered for our giant robot? Yeah. Need that. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> when the music goes... <laughs> That's like the tech synth version of a, of a banjo, is what that's like. All right, here we are. Sick. Got emotes. Let's check out our emotes. We got down for sit. Can do that. Whatever that is. Just throw candy on the floor. Here. Piece of candy. Piece of candy. Here. Hey, puppy, come here. <laughs> I don't know why that amuses me so much. Um, so it looks like all the gun upgrades are literally just more ammo. And it's all a shared ammo pool. And then that's more up uh that's more grenades so i can have two of them which would be useful if uh, there's any big crazy group fights or if i just want free on cooldown damage because that's the trade-off we're making there is that we're saying okay we want more burst dps because the ammo on the gun is entirely de dedicated on like how much i can actually get a hit in with my sword whereas um the grenades are purely time-based. Like, if I camp long enough, I'll just... 
just have grenades. Now, the question is... Does it shorten the cooldown? Like, will I get grenades twice as much? Game doesn't communicate that. Like, does it scale up in the same way that ammo on the gun does? Or at least how it feels to me. Because that's the trick. I'm not 100% certain. If increasing the ammunition actually makes it so that way the ammo comes... Like, you fill up the ammo faster. I'm going to say... I, you know, I like that one. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Anything that deflects and helps get rid of bullets, I'm good with. All right, so I think we know where to go. We're going to go there. I like how tight and compact this game is. I keep bringing it up, but like, I, I, I genuinely feel like I can fully process the size and scale of this game. I'm very curious to see what a speedrun is like. Like, what somebody who's really good at this game is like. When they just blast through it, they know where everything is. I think it'll be fun just to see all the secrets that I don't normally get. Maybe I'll watch a 100% speedrun. If it's not too long. So we're going to be doing some digging. Ooh, it seems like it's right over there. Ouch. Give me. Decapitation! That's just what I have in my head every time. Ooh. I wasn't ready to be sucker punched like that. Probably could have just tapped RT and just saved myself the trouble. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is a lot better. You know what, I'm not taking random bits of damage. Yeah, I know. Nope, didn't mean to do that. That sucks. Sick. Oh, this definitely tells me this is the way to go. We're gonna hold out on healing. Oh, maybe I should have healed. But now I know that guy's there. Shitter. Get on with it. A lot of holes to fall in here. What are you doing over there? I like that. That communicates to me some bullshit. Oh, I just realized the uh, slashing <laughs> would have been very helpful on that one robot. Maybe that's what I needed was that upgrade specifically, and it would have just made it so much easier. I can't get the main theme to One Piece out of my head. It, it just keeps coming back to me. And not the four kids rap one, the uh, Funimation, um, it's the, uh, the OP with the song We Are. Don't know who makes it, but god damn it. God damn it. <laughs> god damn it. We got this. I say yet again. We do not have this. We, in fact, uh, explicitly do not. That's why we keep dying. If we had it, we wouldn't be dying. We'd just be winning. Like the champions we are. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Sorry, my stomach took over for a second. Doink, doink. Some kind of office or research facility it appears to be. Interesting. Come on. Oh damn. 
watch the secret be right underneath my nose. What the hell? You suck. You're a bad friend is what you are. Gamer? Gamer? There's nothing there. Okay. That's fine. All right, we are at... We were at full HP. Ready to go. Rearing to fuck. I want to go back. I saw a square on the floor, and it looked suspicious, so I'm going to go investigate that square. You see it right there? Right there in this little randomly placed thing no, okay it's nothing it's nothing what's that be like the start to like some massive secret dungeon string where it's like oh here's like a whole other hidden half of the dungeon there's like 15 keys that way they'll open every other door that you've missed I just get getting lax on that part all the way back here dude that sucks now that that sucks this sucks I do like watching that one guy drop though that that I will I will say that is very fun to see back all the way over here gotta go through here gotta go all the way through here kill him all the way down here. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Whoa, look at all the stuff. Boop. Yeah, like, why did it spawn me all the way back there and not here? It should have spawned me here, or at least, like, right before that elevator. Like it has for the whole game. My timing was off, as well as my spacing. Everything was off there. Oh, dude, that would have been so... It actually reflects them. It actually reflects them and makes it so that way it properly damages the enemy. It doesn't just block it like my dash shield. It, it full-on stomps them. Why was your aim so awful? You're good though, you're good. You're fine, man. Sweet, that looked like it lowered everything. a little more exploring I have uh, let's just check it out let's just see what's over this way you know oh there's a man here what here we just gonna play it safe They don't want me going that way, so I'm gonna go this way. It looks like two paths to go the same way, but then there's another path over this way. Whew, this is a whole thing, isn't it? So many doors. This definitely feels like a little bit of final gauntlet for this game. But it's not as bad as some sections, or at least not as tough. Definitely feels like, hey, you better be on your shit, or else there's some shit over here. There you go. Another pip. <laughs> Whatever that means. How do I represent currency? Well, I'll have a... I'll have a yellow square with a 
number two Roman numeral on there. That's pretty short-lived. That's okay. Good stuff. So let's check over here first. You suck. Wow! It was just two robots and like two goblins. And they still got me. Oh well. At least the uh, at least the health packs are flowing. <gasps> yes! We are four for four. Now, let us see what is through this final doorway. Oh, what the hell? What is it saying? No! My heart disease! I'm assuming there's four, and it's just they spawned weird. We're on our last legs, man. Last legs here. Oh, who am I kidding? I'll just I'll just spam more health packs, and it'll be good. The sad trick with the every game with the healing mechanic. It's like, why don't you just overheal? Why don't you just? shove all the health inside of you until you're not dying anymore. Woo! Combo. I wonder if this game has a modding scene. Probably not. I'm not sure what you'd mod. Although, I mean, I don't want to undersell, like, this game's art direction or, like, the amount of time and effort that it would take to make a game that, that's like this. But I feel like somebody in their free time, they could go and try to ape this play style and try to do something interesting. That's a fucking boss door. That's a motherfucking boss door. Oh, it's a shitter. Oh! I'll learn the trick. He, he doesn't seem that hard. He just seems like uh, it's easy for him to trip you up. another upgrade over that over in town i think we're just gonna stick with the shotgun for now because the extra ammo on the other two don't seem super critical but the shotgun just because it can do so much burst Okay. 
Oh, oof. He's looking stinky up there. Yeah, so I think those guys I fought were like all the other dudes in the desert that were in um, that one guy's dialogue. Oh. oh that's, not what I'm, that's not what I meant to do. But I do want to check out... Ah, never mind, it's fine. Let's activate the thing! See what comes next. Something's going on there. You know, there's a bunch of stuff over that way. No idea how to get there. Not particularly interested. But let's head back to uh, town. Because I think that's it. I think we're good to go. So my guess is, is that we're going to go to this thing and there's going to be a final dungeon and it's going to be some of the most difficult stuff this game can throw at us. I only got two. I only got two pips. So I don't think I can get any of that stuff. I could save... I think I'm going to get the grenade upgrade. Just more damage. A short one. Oh well. In that case, because I'm pretty confident that this is the last dungeon. So we're going to just get this fourth pit. I really wish he would... Um, he would just let me stock up on healing items. <laughs> oh, that looks special. Yeah, let's go. Down, down, down. I gotta wonder what's so special about this elevator that it needs all those pylons and all those modules to be turned on. Letting that breathe a little bit. That's about as close. Well, you know, we do get some cutscenes in this game. Just, you know, your standard invisible bridge. Curious reasons. An invisible bridge feels like something a um, a mischief god would do as a form of security. It's like there's nothing stopping you except <laughs> you know you're looking at it. And you're like, that's a pit there, dude. We can't step on that. But then all it takes is like throwing one rock, and suddenly it's like, oh, that rock's just sitting there. Or a bird crashing into it, like the side of it or something. Alright, let's see. No map for this place. I think it's a pretty straight shot. It's taking the lore. Some kind of alarm. It's a heartbeat. Oh, it's bad. It's getting bad. Oh, that's a lot of health packs. That, that's the game telling you, get ready to get fucked. <laughs> get ready to get fucked. It's the fucking title screen icon. This has to be it. This has to be the final boss. Or at least close to it. Ooh. 
It's the demon! Whoa! So you always want to try to go to the bottom right of them on that attack. You want to go to you want to go to the bottom right of that attack. things up. He's going to be doing things and he's going to be doing them more often. Can we conquer our demons? Shit. I got to watch those after images, mate. fucking hurts. I need to be more generous with my healing. If I'm at like 2 HP, I should just heal. The fight's not that long. My burst DPS is pretty good. at the corner and then still did like the full thing. What the hell? I got chained there. There was nothing I could have done. I'm in control. If I try to dash, I cough more. Not that it's making much of a difference, but let's go. I can't do anything. I can't even heal myself. Let's go.
Wow. I'll tell you what. I I would say my one regret 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 um is not playing this whole game in one session. Like, if I was really sitting down for a day, and I knew about how long this game was actually going to be, I would have, um... I would have easily have sat down in, like, the early afternoon and crushed it out in, like, night hours. If I could have an entire library of games like this, I I would be pretty happy. <laughs> I would be pretty happy. These just really short, but really just tightly made quality games. Where it's one of those things that you could beat in a day or two. I, I definitely think we need more games like this on the market. So many games are these massive investments of your time. And and people often um, use that as a point of praise of like, hey, I put down 60 bucks and I'm definitely going to get 60 bucks worthwhile because you're going to put in like 200 plus hours into a single game. But I feel like if um, there were just tons of games, oh, this music. I don't want to lower it. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's a little loud. Here, I'm gonna lower my headset so that way I'm not. Oh. So that way I'm not yelling over myself. But I feel like if there were a hundred games like this on Steam that were like 20, 30 bucks, those are exactly the, like these are. Ex this is exactly the kind of game I was really wanting to play. I mean. I would prefer some more dialogue. I want I want to be able to bounce off characters a little bit more. Because I feel like that would just make me more interesting as a streamer. But definitely... The reason why I set out to do these streams was to play games like this. It, games exactly like this. I'm so... Excited... To be diving into other games. And really checking out everything else I've had in this library that I've been slowly building over years and years and years. I got like 50 plus games on Unreal Game Store that I'm going to be going through and those are going to be the ones I'm going to be focusing on the most right now. And then I got about 150 <laughs> on Steam that uh, I want to go check out. So getting back to this game what are, what are some of the things I think about it? I can't get over the atmosphere and the art direction. And the gameplay itself is just... Re it, like, I keep g coming back to these words, like, tight. It, it It's one of those things where... Everything is very simply presented to you. Enemies typically don't take more than, like... Five hits to kill for the vast majority of them, and the ones that do take longer have all these tricks you can do. You could do a charged attack into a shotgun blast and take out pretty much anything that isn't a boss in this game. And everything's fast and tightly paced. When you make a mistake, it genuinely feels like your fault. I've complained a lot throughout this playthrough, but that's... <laughs> Sadly, I'm beginning to think that might just be how I play games, especially for the first time. I forgot this was a Kickstarter game. 24,150 backers. Sorry, the way games people the game the way games bring people together to do all kinds of stuff. I believe this is all the names of the patrons. There's a lot of errands here. We're gonna swoosh right on through here because there's so many. Ooh, we're only in the C's. See some D's. See more E's. We're in the E's. There's the F's, the G's, the H's, I's, J's. 
A lot of Johns, a lot of Joshes. Here's the K's, there goes the K's, the L's, the M's. A lot of Matt's and Michael's. There's the N's, there's the O's, there's the P's. Q, R. S. It's gonna be a lot of S's. T's. U, V, X, Y, Z. Okay, yeah, there we go. Sweet. So that was Hyper Light Drifter. That's a game I think I could easily recommend to pretty much anybody. You don't need to know any language. It's never so difficult that it feels like a massive barrier to people. I think the only thing I would say is uh, there should be a way to refill your health packs. Like you should be able to go back to town and max out your health packs and then continue, and then try again with what you're going to do. Because that was my, honestly, that was honestly my biggest complaint is that sometimes certain encounters would be so much harder than other parts of the game just because I didn't have the healing. And I would have to play things extra tricky to get them to work. Although that adds some intrigue to the game because depending upon how you play and what parts of the game you're in, that could lead to some encounters being really memorable. That's not, like that feels like something that makes the journey a little bit more yours. Um, I finished this game about twenty minutes uh, earlier than I was expecting to be. I was hoping to make it to midnight, but that's all good. I guess I'll take this time to um, discuss what I'm going to play next because I haven't thought about that at all. Uh, do -do -do. We're gonna move over to the main screen here. So... Get some music on here. Yeah, I'm gonna just throw on the uh, OST for this game again. I'm really debating what I'm going to play next. Um, It's a little bit of a toss-up between ukulele, mechanicus. I want a game where I'm reading a lot of text. I want to, I want to do some of that. See, see how I do with that. Because the past two games, I've been having to do a lot of um, just riffing off of just what's in front of me. I haven't had a lot in the way of dialogue to bounce off of. I tried some reading in Dishonored, but it didn't feel like, like a lot of it was just side text. But if it's something like a Banjo-Kazooie or a ukulele, where it's all character dialogue, and it's all happening in front of there, and I could throw on some funny voices, that could be fun. Yeah, I might play... Here, I gotta take this off the list now. Yeah, so we're now officially at 49 games that I need to do. So... Right. Oh, I'm gonna probably play a little bit of Ultra Kill tomorrow if I'm up to it. If I'm up to it is, is what I'm going to stress. <laughs> is I'm going to stress that it is uh, that I, I am going to check out where I'm at with Ultra Kill and see what I do with that. Hmm. Yeah, I want something funny. I want something funny and entertaining that I could play. So I think I'll play ukulele because Mechanicus is uh, is kind of XCOM-y in its gameplay. 
Uh, but from what I've read, it's a very straightforward, like, like it's really good if you're into the Adeptus Mechanicus. If you're into 40k stuff, then it's a really good game for that. But from what I understand, it's all very straight laced. Like there isn't, you know, a lot of like, uh, I don't believe there's going to be a lot of ha ha funny going on there, uh, which is fine. like a split second of a uh, something ah oh, shit i forgot to name uh i forgot to rename the stream i wish there was an easier way to do that like i wish i could do it from from here like i could just quickly type it and then it would also change the name of the session because uh, as it stands we've been playing on night two this is night three actually um could play paradigm if i'm up for a if I'm up for an adventure game, could do that. If I want, uh, if I want a stream where I'm just cussing and spitting the entire goddamn time while also laughing, I could play Stranger of Paradise. Although I did tell myself, if I was ever going to play this game again, I was going to play it on the easiest difficulty. Well, not the easiest, but I was going to play it on like normal. Because when I first played it, I played it on like a hard difficulty. And, uh, whew, like, that game could either be Devil May Cry or it could be Dark Souls. <laughs> it can be one or the other, but it will not be both. Um, I think I'm pretty sold on ukulele. Mm -hmm. I've also seen some interesting things about a game called Control. A bunch of people uh, I follow went through it a few years ago when it first came out. But I never really checked it out. I never watched any of their, their streams or playthroughs or anything like that. So I, I'm honestly pretty blind to that game. So I think that'd be a good blind game to play. Maybe I'll play a little bit of Mother Gunship, see how that goes. Um, I want to play No Straight Roads with my one friend, Ian. I think that'd be cool. If we, if we can... If we... Uh, committed to going through that game together could be pretty fun and plus it'll add so much more fun to it just having another person to talk to while on stream i find duos and triples in streams like when it's two people or three people it's always so fun listening to people bounce off each other Like, if you've never watched uh, Wayne Radio TV, one of the funniest streamers on this platform, man. One of the, just the absolute funniest streamers ever. I just wish he committed to, like, doing full playthroughs more. Because that's kind of my biggest thing with a lot of games and, like, um, people online is I like to binge things. I like to go through something from beginning to end and see how that, and just just have that like i watch playthroughs like their movies and when they don't finish it feels like a movie that doesn't finish <laughs> i have been wanting to play hob that's that's another great example of a game that i have been sitting on for years i've only recently come into possession of it but it's a game i've heard about and known of for ages it was back when total biscuit was still doing stuff well you know when he was alive not to show any disrespect, I, I deeply miss um, Total Biscuit and, and the stuff that he did. Even though I didn't watch him all that often, I, like, one, I, I will say one of my sad things is that I never sat down and committed to watching uh, the podcast he did with Dodger and Jesse Cox. Uh, from what I heard, that was a fantastic podcast that I just never committed to uh, listening to. Sometimes I just get sick of people's opinions, you know? Especially when it comes to, like, gaming or, uh, like, big, important topics. And a big reason for that is just because I listen to it too much. <laughs> I listen to it too much from, like, a dozen other people on the daily uh, who are constantly talking about games, game industries, often talking about very specific games. Uh, they get into all kinds of topics and it's and I've been doing that for years so I often just get burnt out 
on some things and it's like I don't want to let hear any more opinions these days <laughs> I don't want to hear any more opinions I, I I'm kind of um I I'm confident in my ability to just think for myself and just go with that I suppose if I wanted to play, play a game uh, of a similar vibe I could play Fez but I'm afraid that game might overstay its welcome that because I'm not good at puzzle games uh, especially puzzle platformers, I'll probably be on that game for a while. Celeste is a game I'm dying to play, but am terrified of. <laughs> I am terrified of this game for some reason. Uh, it, it seems like just really wholesome, sweet, super Meat Boy, but with its own vibe to it. Like, I, like it has its own little mechanics to it that, that make it, it its own. Man, am I terrified of picking that game up. I could play Kingdom Come Deliverance, but that's like a long play. That's a game where I'm going to be playing that for a while. In the beginning, at least, I want to at least burn through a bunch of these other uh, shorter games that I could probably be. Like, I don't imagine Ukulele being a 200 hour long adventure like Kingdom Come might turn into, where, I, like, I won't be streaming this for a month straight like I will with. A really long RPG like that. But then again, maybe it's not nearly as long as I'm giving it credit. I got a game in here called Damon X Machina. That might be a fun one to go through. Because like that that one's just ultra violence, <laughs> it looks like. Uh, I've been I've read that its gameplay gets a little repetitive because it's it's a mission based structure. So you're going like you get your loadout, you jump into a mission, you do the mission, and then you do that over and over and over and over and over again until you eventually reach the end of the game. Um, sometimes those missions are different. Sometimes the thing you things you fight are different. But from what people have said, it gets repetitive. Hopefully, it's fun enough to where, especially with how I'm playing these games, where I'll play them for like three, four hours on stream, and then I'll take a day away, and then I'll come back the next stream. Or at least I'll try to. That's something I've been trying to be better at, is uh, making sure that I'm streaming these games continuously for longer sessions, and I'm not skipping a day like I did with Friday last week, where because you know my controller was still messed up, and I didn't want to, I didn't want that to ruin my experience of going through Hyper Light Drifter, so. I just decided to do art that day. I really wanted to play Hyperlight, but I just I just couldn't bear the thought of my controller plaguing that entire playthrough like it did. Uh, but the next game, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, three in a row. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get through the game and I'm gonna and, and I'm going to play as long as I can in each of those because if I can beat a game in like three to four streams I think that's a really good pace I think that's a really good pace to be going for most of these games it's a tough thing because there's a lot of different games on here and a lot of them a lot of them are games honestly I never would have bought I didn't buy most of these these are a lot of these are just things that unreal has thrown at me and a lot of the games i have over on steam are games that people have either gifted me or are is like one of their accounts that uh i'm connected to through through the uh steam computer share thing that they got going on there uh, but i do have access to those games so i have a lot of games that i never really like invested in like i never bought them that i just have access to the ability to play them uh, through official means so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna because uh, when on earth am I ever gonna play remnant from the ashes I have no idea what this game is about but I have it on the list I have creature in the well which looks cool but I probably never would have bought it and then we have Deponia the complete adventure or the complete journey where that's like three action rpgs point and click adventures not sure but it looks like it's filled with tons of charm and character and then i have ken follett's the pillars of the earth that one's gonna be interesting because like that's another 
what appears to be just passion, just a project filled with love. Because I'm looking at it and I'm like, well, you don't do that unless unless you really care about what you're making. And then I got this weird game called uh, 3 out of 10. And apparently there's a bunch of episodes for this series where they, they were released and you were able to get them for free. Like, uh, like Unreal Head, over like several months, released each one of these. I don't know if it's by Unreal, I'm pretty sure it's not. But they, but these, I saw these getting pumped out and I grabbed a couple of them, but I didn't get all of them. I have no problem going through. Like if I really like three out of 10, I might just buy all of them, especially if they're great stream games, which would be good. Oh, you know what would be a fun game? There's this one game where you just tell people no. And that's the game. You just run around, you tell people no, and a bunch of random ass shit happens around you. It's one of those like Katamari style kind of games where it's built on a really ridiculous, silly idea, but they just go really hard with it. And, it, and, it, and it's a game that just has this really uh, unique, eccentric art direction to it that uh, just really makes it stand out in a really cool way. Yeah, so I think I'm going to play Ukulele next. It's going to be my next game. And uh, I do have the sequel there. If I really enjoy my time with Ukulele and it's not too long, I will probably immediately jump straight into the sequel of that. I'll Like, I'll play that one by ear, but it's a very easy next choice of beating Ukulele and then playing the sequel. Ooh, I have Neo on here, and that... <laughs> That's a game that's going to be probably pissing me off a lot as I try to play it, because I'm, I'm bad at it. Something I would like to do is, um, I just need to find the time for it, is there, there's, there's two big things I want to do. One, I want to go through my VODs. I've been, I've been archiving all of them, and I've been uploading them to my YouTube channel. Uh, but what I want to do is I'm going to go through some of them and I want to cut them down, right? I want to take a two, I want to take something like a two, three hour stream and cut it down to like a 30 minute video where it's mostly just bits and bobs and gags and, in, and it's told in a chronological order. So that way it gives that sense of a, of a playthrough. And I just highlight, um, any funny moments and then just edit in some memes and throw a little bit of extra humor in there. Maybe some... Uh, post commentary to uh, guide the viewer through the experience. I think that'd be kind of fun, and uh, and I want to try to do it in a way that isn't mega time consuming. And it would probably be something where I would probably only be uploading like one or two a week. I haven't even started it yet. Uh, I got a editing program called Shotcut to to do some basic editing this kind of stuff so who knows I'll get to that at some point and then um what I could do with those longer videos is I can chop them up and I can take specific moments and I could turn them into YouTube shorts and then the second thing I really want to do is I really want to do some more research when I go into a game. So like, I know a little bit about ukulele, but I can't put anything in like actual words. Like I can't tell you, like I could say, oh, there was a bunch of people who came over from Rare who worked on the OG Banjo-Kazooie games. And now they have finally come and made their own thing in the form of ukulele. And, uh, but I can't name any names. I don't know who any of those people are. I don't know anything that they've done. I don't know how their influences have worked. And uh, all the details of its development are very foggy to me, even though uh, even though the development on at least the first game was pretty closely monitored because it was one of those early Kickstarter games where, where, where like it, it had gotten funded and everybody was kind of like, are they actually, actually going to make it? Like, is, is, is this how this works? But I'd like to do more research on that. 
fine. Like, like just figure out all kinds of different little bits of trivia. And uh, I'll be honest, I'm not 100% certain how to really go about that in a way that isn't just me copy uh random tidbits and trivia into the stream and just going like, oh, wow, hey, did you guys know this and that? I watched a Did You Know gaming video about this game talking about XYZ. Maybe that's enough. It, it's it, these are these are weirdly challenging days to where as soon as one person is talking in chat and I have somebody to bounce off of, it's a lot easier to be funny and to commentate. But then when it's just me by myself, it's a it's a little it's a little tricky. I will say, Twitch chat is definitely half the fun of of streaming. It's definitely half the fun. All right, folks. I wanted to at least stick around until midnight because, uh, again, I'm trying to commit to at least doing two and a half hours, which I've already passed because I started a few minutes early. It, it's just a case of I get ready a lot earlier. Typically, like if I have the day, I'll get ready a lot earlier before I have to stream. Half the time, if I if I'm closing the shop at work. I don't get home until it's about time to stream, and so I'm panicking and I'm rushing to try to get everything up. Uh, it's funny, I say I, I, I get ready too soon, but I keep forgetting to check the uh, stream title. That's my biggest... <laughs> well, it's one, of, it's one of many mistakes that I've been making recently. I just think it's kind of cool that I can actually stream in 1080p. I don't know if I'm doing... I'm not doing 60 FPS. Uh, I don't have that kind of stream. Uh, I don't have that kind of internet yet. <laughs> and then it probably isn't going to be anything that's going to change until people actually start showing up regularly. And it's like, oh, hey, what's up? Because right now it's usually just me. And that's okay. I I'm fine with that. These uh, these streams give me a... So, like, there, there are definitely days when... Very quickly, like I've only been doing this for like what, like two, three weeks maybe, and I've already begun to notice that it's like, man, uh, some nights I kind of don't want to stream already. Like I'm already kind of noticing it, and I'm in that early phase where I'm kind of like, do I even really want to do this? But I've had a few nights like tonight where things flow. They just kind of come naturally. There's very minimal frustration or major issues with things. Uh, and I'm absolutely having fun. They, they give me a good sense of structure in my week where I'm looking forward to Monday, Wednesday, Friday as like, okay, that's when I'm going to be streaming. That's when I'm going to be playing that new game that I've never played before. And I just goof off for two and a half hours into a microphone. And then I take some time to like, organize my thoughts. I'm a very disorganized person, I feel, outside of streaming, where sometimes it's just kind of tough keeping things in order. Uh, but these, these streams have been helping. Um, they've been helping a lot. Anyways, I'm done for the night. Uh, I will be back potentially tomorrow to do some Ultra Kill if I'm down for it. Nobody's going to listen to this, so... What I'm saying doesn't really matter. That's fine. Uh, but I will be back Friday to play ukulele. Thanks to anyone who showed up and even took the time to watch for just a couple of seconds, for a couple of minutes, whether you're watching live or on the VOD. Uh, it'd be super cool if you gave my Twitch a follow and you subbed to my YouTube channel. If you ring the bell, you'll always catch the VODs. That's the probably the best way to watch anything that I stream. Not that I really think any of it is really worthwhile yet. Uh, I definitely think I have to get some stuff edited together first. I'm a little afraid because I've never done anything like a short and I have a weird feeling that I might get the most attention I've ever had in my entire life on the first short. I don't know. I've never dived into it. But every video I watch 
when I'm on YouTube Shorts, man, they have like thousands and thousands of likes and views or what have you, and then I'll randomly get like the one that has nothing. So I think if I, if I, if I edit it just right and I get that first few seconds to add, to feel at the very least feel professional, I think it would probably be all right. I definitely like I've been listening to my vods a little bit, and uh, I definitely have a higher quality audio than a lot of people <laughs> than a lot of people who live stream or record footage or do videos for, for games and stuff so anyways that's me for the night goodbye <laughs>